Commissioner. Harry? Adrian Monk. Yes, of course. How are you, Detective? Former Detective. Not for long, I hope. We miss you. Thank you for coming. Sir, if there's anything I can do, I'm available 24-7. Well, I appreciate that. I've become pretty familiar with this type of crime. There is no crime yet, Monk. This is a missing persons case. Of course. I know. I know that. I'm, I'm sorry. Adrian. I just mean if worse comes to worse, and I pray it never does. I think I could be a real asset here. You won't be sorry, sir. He is the best. Well, how can I not accept an offer from Adrian Monk? Leland, see that he gets a copy of the file in full access? Yes, sir. Welcome aboard, Detective. Thank you, sir. Thank you. She was calling me. She led me here. See, that's the way it happens sometimes. I was driving the car, but her aura was guiding me. Write that down, Lieutenant. It was her aura. And then I woke up, and I was right here. See, she wanted me to find her. She didn't want to lie for the rest of eternity under all that mud. I mean, can you blame her? And you never met Mrs. Ashcombe? No, never met her. Not until this morning. And uh, do you know her husband at all? Never had the honor. Is there anything else you can tell us, Miss Flint? Oh, hell's bells, Captain. You can call me Dolly. You've known me for 20 years. Hello, Dolly. <laughs> Did he tell you? He arrested me three times. Bunko and fraud. You always thought I was a quack, didn't you? Huh, Captain? Never thought I'd actually find somebody. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Can, can you get a picture of me with the car? Hey. I'm just going to... Hey, no, Dolly. Dolly, he is a police photographer. He's not from the National Enquirer. He must be right this way. Can't I just have one shot? I think we should be This. What? Looks like something was maybe dragged along here, something metal. That could be anything. But you see, you see where the car ended up. Imagine the trajectory doesn't make sense. Don't complicate things, Monk. She was probably doing 70 or 75 miles an hour when she missed the turn. Hey, did you hear who found the car? I heard Dolly Flint. Crazy Dolly, can you believe that? No, I can't. Monk doesn't believe in psychics. I believe in what I can see. I believe in what's in front of me. You know how I found out that my ex was still seeing his old girlfriend? Please, tell us. A psychic told me. And that's a true story, and it was the best 35 bucks I ever spent. 35 bucks? There have been cases, documented cases, where psychics have found missing kids, bodies. It happens. It ha I, of course it happens. A thousand psychics making 10,000 predictions a year. Two or three of them have to be right. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The chariot. You are a very restless soul. Hmm? Oh. Now, this is interesting. The Knight of Pentacles. Is that good? Well, it confirms what I felt earlier, romance. You know anyone with a British accent? No. You will. Very soon. A British accent, huh? He's not gonna look like that, is he? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, no, he's gonna be tall, and his name is Derek. David. Congratulations, I'm sure you'll both be deliriously happy. Miss Flint, uh, about finding Mrs. Ashcombe. No, I didn't find anybody. Her spirit led me to her. Of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, did, did, did you know her before she died? No, I never met her. And I've been through this about a million times. No, I understand. I excuse me. Um, about the man with the accent, how will I know it's him? Oh, well, you'll know. Like all women know, you just have to keep an open heart, Sharona. So she wasn't a client? No. Um, Dolly, uh, you said soon. You mean like this week or next week? Um... You know, I'd say before the next full moon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, uh, here on the planet Earth, there's a dead woman, and somebody is responsible. It was an accident, Mr. Monk. She drove off the highway. Right, right. What exactly do you remember? 
about that night. Do you know who you are, Mr. Monk? You are what we in the spiritual world call a buzzkill. Thank you. Fine. It's your money. I went to bed. I have insomnia. I took my pills. I finally got to sleep at about um, 3 o'clock. No, it was 3.30. I was watching Law and Order. Uh, go on. And that's it. I woke up next to Mrs. Ashcombe. Now I go to bed with my coat on, holding my car keys just in case. Okay, are you happy now? You happy? Dolly, Dolly, what does he do, like, um, for a living? I mean, he has a job, right? Sharona, what? please, please. I'm, I'm working here. I'm working here. Uh, uh, what did you do? Are you insane? I need a, I need a, a wipe car. here. Sharona, don't, don't do this. Give me, give me a wipe here. Go to the car with the wipes. Go to the car. Um, about this David and Derek, he's not married, is he? doing? I don't know. Did you finish all your math? You have a weird job. Oh, Benji, just finish the math. room. <gasps> Look! Corona, don't touch it! Sandals, size six. What? According to her sister, she was wearing sandals when she disappeared. Is that blood? Yeah, it looks like it. Faggot. This is insane. How did that get here? She's close. She's very close. Oh! Are you all right? Uh, stay away. It's Jenny. She's here. There's nothing here. <sighs> what is it, Tommy? Uh, what is it? It's blood. Uh, and hair. Human. Mm. It's impossible. Lieutenant? I got it. Jenny. She's calling me. I'm coming. No. Oh, my God. Oh, dear God, no. Johnny, oh, my God. No, I, I swear. Stand I... back, Commissioner. This is a crime scene. He did it. He killed her. Me? Are you crazy? I love this woman! He invited her here. She said it was over. He exploded. She tried to run away, but he chased her down. No! He grabbed the poker, and then he straddled her, and he was just pounding! Just pounding her! No, she's crazy! She says, now at least she can be with Abigail. Abigail was what she named her unborn baby. Last summer, you made her have an abortion. She knows everything. She's psychic. Leela, don't listen to her. This, this is some kind of a trick. She's a fake. She's not a fake. Yes, she is. She found your wife's body. No, she didn't. She did, I was there. No, 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 she didn't find anything. I drove her there. You 
drove her. Is that what you said? Do you hear that, Captain? I, I, look, Leland. Hello, Harry. I told you you'd be sorry. When I told Jenny what we were trying to do here, she was anxious to help. She knew you had to be stopped. Mudslide. That was your problem. Somebody other than yourself had to find Catherine's body. So you went looking for just the right psychic. And Dolly Flint was the perfect choice. From her file, you knew that she took medication to help her sleep. What did you use, chloroform? Something to keep her sleeping. You put on a wig. You drove her to the crash site. You even ran a red light or two to make sure you were seen. And in the morning, she woke up and found your wife. I have nothing to say. That's quite all right, sir. You've said enough. Harry, I'm going to advise you of your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court.